Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do accuracy assessment for your classified image. And I'm going to use a land cover map for the southern part of Kenya, that is specifically Taita Hills. So the first thing that we need to do is you need to go to raster and then you go to supervise and then you click on accuracy assessment. First thing you need to do is to specify the image that you want to classify so you navigate to that image and you click on it. As you can see there are already some points here but I'm going to show you how I got here. So you click on edit and you create some random points. Specify the number of points that you want to use for this particular process and then specify the distribution parameter if it's random, stratified or equal. Equal means it's the same for each class and stratified means it's based on the number of features in that particular class. The class that has more features is going to have more points compared to the other. So you can see I used 90 points and I'm going to show you how I got to have these points in the reference column. So first we need to show the class of values and these are the values that we obtain when we're doing our classification. Now we need to visualize these points. So you right click and you select the view. So that you can be able to see these points that you want to use for this accuracy assessment so you click show all and now you can see these are the points that we are going to use them and you can see they are distributed around the map they shouldn't be concentrated in one area the one that is in white means i haven't indicated the reference point yet so i'm going to use google Earth and i'm going to click on connect to google Earth. so it's going to link elders and google Earth. So now I'm going to click on link so that it can link both. So that means that the area we are seeing on address is the area we are seeing on Google Earth. And then we're going to sync them so that when we zoom to an area in this other side, it can zoom in the other side too. So you can be able to visualize them simultaneously. Now you can see this point 55 here, as I said, I haven't indicated its reference point yet. So we are going to zoom in into the area. We are going to zoom into this point that has an ID of 55 so that we can be able to tell which class is it on the ground. And that's how you are going to do for each point. So I used 90 points and I did this for each and every point. So you zoom in to a point where you can be sure what class this area is. So you can see here clearly it's an area where there are trees so it's under the forest class so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to this particular point that is id 55 and indicate there so it's going to be value six that's the value for the forest area now i'm going to indicate it and to know the values for each class you just check the attribute table you right click and you click display attribute table so now you can see that's my attribute table and I'm going to show you the rest of my classes and their values. So you can see this uh, value 6 here, it's the forest area and I had 5 classes. So now when you're sure it's the forest area you just indicate it, you're going to do this for each and every point. You zoom in to the point and then you check what's on the ground and then indicate so you are going to have both the class values from your classification and then the true values from the google earth and you do this when you don't have the ground points but if you have the ground points for that area then it's good you can just use those ground points and that's even more accurate because it means you've already gone to that area and check out what's on the ground even better when you have the points but if you don't have the points you can just use the google app so now you can see we have the class values and the reference values and so what we need to do is to check the statistics for this accuracy assessment for this classification so you right click report then you click on the accuracy report and now you can see we have the accuracy assessment report and it's showing us the error matrix for each particular class but what we're interested in is this error matrix that's showing us all the accuracy totals 
now we can see the producer's accuracy and the user's accuracy and you can see our overall classification accuracy is 83 percent which is okay which means the classification was accurate and if you have an accuracy of 60 percent and below that means you need to redo your classification and you can see our kappa statistic here is 0 0.7 which is okay it's not supposed to be 0 0.5 and below so this this means generally our classification was good so you can save your file and then so now we are sure that our classification is good we can use this particular image for other analysis so that's good so this is basically how you do it when you're using Eldas and Google Earth. This is one way of doing it. So now we have done our accuracy assessment and that's the end of this video. Thank you so much guys. See you next time.